and so welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome as well today guys i'm here to tell you that i found a new sun freaking screen you guys I, I, i've been actually using like sunscreen for about four years and now and the sunscreens that i was using i'm gonna show you guys like i think i've got like about three sunscreens that i'm gonna show you they were like spf 30 and then i wanted to actually go a little bit higher that's when the cetaphil sunscreen came about now if you know and if you have been following me for some time you know that that is my least favorite sunscreen i don't have it with me here because i gave it to my mom to actually apply it on her face or body when she's going out for I mean, to the farm i don't know what you you call it in english but when she goes to my simwini or something like that i just gave it to her because that sunscreen you guys it will make you look like casper the ghost <laughs> you will definitely look like casper the ghost if you apply that sunscreen it is not nice at all and if you are someone who is always going out to the people for them to actually look at you it ain't nice because they'll be like are you wearing color mine or something <laughs> It actually does feel good it is moisturizing the problem is just a whiteness like it is not good more especially if you are a woman of color you know the struggle of finding a good sunscreen the sunscreen for me has a lot of benefits more especially someone who suffers from acne and who have like scars i feel like if i wasn't applying sunscreen my stubborn dark marks would even get more darker and again you guys the amount of actives that i use on my skin are really making my skin a little bit sensitive so if i wasn't applying sunscreen i wonder what would happen to my face other than that even if you have good skin if you want to avoid sunburn if you don't want to age quickly if you do not want to have hyperpigmentation all those stuff you want healthy skin please make sure you apply that thing it will help you more especially in the long run so they say people who actually studied everything actually let me just read uh, thoroughly from um, the source that I got I just googled uh, benefits of using sunscreen and it has things like it shields from harmful uh, UV rays um, it prevents premature aging it lowers skin cancer risks so even if you do not have problematic skin please make sure you apply your sunscreen because cancer is a word the c word is something that we do not talk about we do not want to talk about so it also um prevents sunburns tanning it gives you healthy skin the list actually goes on and on what i'm trying to say is if you are breathing you're a living creature please apply sunscreen to your face without me actually just going all in so let me just show you some of the sunscreens that i really um, i was using before the cetaphil this is the first sunscreen that i was using this is the demo pal it is fragrance free and it is spf 30 broad spec uh, spectrum uva and uvb blocker and this one it's um it's it, it is an anti-aging anti-pigmentation sunscreen and it is dermatologically um approved this one you guys i like it because it's moisturizing it doesn't make you white at all this is the first sunscreen that i actually bought but let me just apply it on my hand so it looks white right now but when you blend it in it just it disappears like that that is why i actually love this sunscreen and you guys it is super moisturizing and it's always been my go-to sunscreen now i just put it aside a little bit because i wanted i mean spf 50 i don't know so another sunscreen that i used to use is this this every sun sunscreen this one it is an anti-aging face cream it is an even tone moisturizer and it has a uva and uvb pr protection it is water resistant it is light and non-greasy and it is dermatologically tested so this one is more like a moisturizer it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen one thing that i'm trying to avoid since i started using more actives and stuff is to actually have a moisturizer that is like sunscreen like i want a I want a product that is meant to be sunscreen okay so but anyways this one it is really nice as well it's a moisturizing uh, sunscreen i just feel like um it is not intense enough for me more especially the fact that it is in the form of a moisturizer so it's like a moisturizer and sunscreen as well so as of now you guys if i am to use this i would definitely go in with sunscreen on top that is like 
fully sunscreen and not a moisturizing sunscreen but this one you guys it is really really nice and both of these i actually got them from shop right and they do sell i think on clicks and discount and something like that but these are accessible at shop right as well if not check us yes no check us i actually bought this at check us uh, and they were like super super affordable i don't remember the prices i usually just buy everything at once you guys like if i don't get something that day i'll never ever go back so on this day i was going to buy um my sunscreen this one and i couldn't find any of them right so um what happened is i couldn't just go out without sunscreen so what happened is i actually bought this one this one is the sun as the cliques sun protect spf 30 it looks something like that you know uh, this product is fragrance free and it is enriched with nourishing uh, vitamin e or vitamin e something like that so apply at least 30 minutes before i'm sure every sunscreen has um is direction that you actually need to apply 15 or 30 minutes before you actually go outside i actually reapply my sunscreens once a day like i do not do three times or anything but i think once or never <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you you guys like it is also water resistant this is super super oily but it is not white let me show you guys so it comes in a spray and it just looks something like that can you guys see how it looks but as you guys can see it has a little bit of oil and it's giving me I don't know like a greasy feel in a way but it, it's feeling really nice as well and again I realized that it's better I use this on my body rather on my face and again lately guys I just buy sunscreens that are meant for face like if I'm gonna use it on my face and then the rest I'm gonna use it all over my body not always like maybe when my body is out like when my other part of the skin is out I actually apply where my skin is showing it coming to the man of the match you guys i know that you have told me to actually check the user in sunscreen then i took upon my i took it upon myself to actually just bath go straight to clicks to buy my stuff that i wanted and sunscreen was one of the items that i was going to buy right so i buy my stuff and put it in the cut what is it called that thing yeah the, the what is it called the basket yeah so i put everything that i was going to buy you guys just imagine um if hair products skincare products and your body products it's just a lot of money like it's expensive yeah and i was like you know i'm going to buy myself userin i go to the aisle and i check userin it's just within the price range of setup wheel and i was like I was like, check my balance, look at the sunscreen, I like the sunscreen, they said it's good, I really want it, but my balance is not allowing me. I'm like, what am I going to do with myself? Because I do not have 200 and something at the moment, I don't want to try this, but I don't have the funds. <laughs> you guys, I literally stood there like... I said I think it was 200 and something like I don't remember it was 200 and something and I think my budget the, the amount that I was left with was actually 150 or something like that to actually buy this sunscreen but I don't know what is it that I was thinking because I knew that it like within the price range of 200 and something and when I get there I was like I know man either I remove roll on <laughs> or I buy sunscreen <laughs> And then I look on the side. I was like, what are you? Why are you $149.99? What is you? I look and I see a blue and an orange box. It is quite smaller, but I was like, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do for this moment because I'm not going out without a sunscreen. I look on the aisle and I find this baby <laughs> you guys i'm just being dramatic about this thing this is the snivia sun uv face like it has everything that i was looking for like it had everything it has everything that i was looking for in a sunscreen first of all it's meant for face it is shine control there's zero percent sticky feeling it has it is an ultra spectrum protection spf 50 
UVA, UVB, immediate protection absorbs excess oil from skin surface. I was like, you know what, let me just try it and see if the claims are actually working because it was actually cheap and it was within my budget. And I get home, I apply this baby because the box was sealed. Y'all, let me tell you something. This is like, even though they say it's shine control, it is actually not, not too, like it's not matte at all. It feels like a moisturizer in a way. So I feel like even though they say shine control, both oily and dry skin people can actually use this sunscreen, okay? I have a little bit of tinted, um, found a uh, tinted moisturizer. Let me actually wipe off my forehead so that I can show you on my face how it actually looks. Mind you guys, my forehead, it is the most um, shiniest. As you guys can see, even when I'm wiping, it is a little bit shiny. So this is how my face is looking without any tint on it, right? This is how my forehead is looking. I'm gonna use a lot, like I'm gonna use a lot so that you guys can see that you can actually blend because I use a lot of moisturizer like, like that. Like you guys, let me zoom you in so that you can see. This is how much, I feel like it's so bright. This is how much I'm gonna use and I'm gonna use it on my forehead only. And it will disappear like that. And mind you, I am using like a whole lot. Like sometimes it's not even necessary, but because I'm extra, I just like to make sure that I am fully, um, like I fully have something. Like as you guys can see, I still have a little bit of like a glow. I don't know if it's a glow, let's call it a glow, okay? We are glowing. <laughs> So you can see it's not like super matte. It, they say it's mattifying and you can see that it's just moisturizing. It just makes my uh, skin look super, super, super nice. I just feel like, y'all, like I can even add for those who actually like to build it up, like you can literally just build this sunscreen and it will disappear into my melanin skin. I mean, come on not looking ashy white or something like that like it is very friendly to women of color where it where is it where is it sunscreen for who where <laughs> so this is how it's looking let me just zoom you in you guys so that you can see as you guys can see i have this glow it's like i put on moisturizer and i am super super on some glowing and it looks like i'm just on some glowing mode i feel like i'm even brightening you guys mind you i'm filming in front of a window so i do not have artificial light coming to my skin all you see here it is sunlight it is sunlight and it cannot penetrate my skin it is trying its best to come in and it's it's blocked <laughs> i was so happy for the fact that it is very very cost effective it is cost friendly it is you guys it doesn't give me white cast like one thing that is super annoying is when you buy a sunscreen and it gives you white cast i think i just had a little bit of trauma for spending such large amount of money for a sunscreen and it just had to give me white cast i was super angry maybe that's another reason why i really really my heart didn't really break when i couldn't afford the eucerin one because i was like it, even the cetaphil one honestly i bought it because someone on twitter said it's actually very very nice and i trusted them and again it gave me white costs and i was like what if it's the same thing with eucerin but anyways we're still gonna we're still gonna test that one when we can afford it <laughs> the one thing that i do not like it's it has like a little bit of scent perfume i stay away from products with fragrance but i realized that it is oh if i am to count the ingredients right here like it goes all the way down i don't know with other sunscreens the ingredient list is a bit shorter so i don't know why the nivea one has a lot of, of it's got a lot of ingredients like if you really want to check what it does to your skin and what what maybe just i thought you guys it is not going to actually last me but um a lot goes a long way like i feel like i'm gonna have this for a good two months and i apply like about i apply a lot of sunscreen on my face okay so if you are too oily and you think this one is going to mattify you i don't think so it is a light uh, skin feeling which i totally agree it is non-greasy you guys 
shoe it's very correct and it uh, it is non-sticky it is not stick like when you like tap your face and stuff it doesn't feel sticky at all that is super true and it's also an eye friendly formula like what more what, what more can we ask for Nivea like or oh, you say Nivea <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it is friendly to eyes so you can actually protect your under eyes as well more especially if you are suffering from uh under eye pigmentation or dark uh circles i feel like you are also protected because most of the sunscreens you put them next to your eyes you start crying the freaking whole day aka cetaphil but anyways let's move and you guys uh let's just kill the myth of saying that bla uh, black skin don't crack it does crack <laughs> so please apply your sunscreen and protect yourself and that is it from this video guys thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like this video and also do put a comment down below show me some love and thank you so much you guys and i'll see you on the next one bye